What's up everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video I wanted to show you one of the, maybe one of the coolest iPhone apps that I've ever come across. This app is called Speed Hero for iPhone and basically what it is, is it's a radar gun for your shot. Now you might be wondering how this works, basically I don't know if you remember back in math class but I'm sure you heard the equation at some point in your life, distance equals rate times time. Um, and basically what that means is if you've got any two of those components you can calculate the third. So what we do with this app is we actually program in the distance we are from the goal and then, so that gives us the distance part of the equation, and then the app actually registers the sound of the shot being taken and the sound of the shot hitting the, the target. So you can see we've got the shooter tutor set up. That's not so I can work on sniping corners in this video, that's so that we can have something that will make a sound when we hit the tarp and register that second, sh that second sound of the shot hitting the target. So we've got the distance, we've got the time with the sound of the shot being taken, the sound hitting, and uh, with that they can calculate the, uh, the rate at which the puck arrives at the target. Um, now I'm just going to kind of give you a little bit of a heads up. This version of Speed Hero is actually designed for soccer. Um, I actually contacted the, uh, the producers of the, of the program and asked them what the difference would be between soccer and hockey. The difference is minimal, it's just a slight difference in the algorithm of the flight patterns of a ball versus a puck. So this might not be quite as accurate for a puck as it would be for a ball, but it's definitely good enough to kind of give you a general idea of where you're at and definitely good enough to track your progress, whether your shot's improving or not, whether your shot's getting faster. So we're going to use this. This is Speed Hero for, uh, it's called Speed Hero for Football. Um, and I'm going to actually put a direct link in the description of this video so that you can get the same, make sure you get the same version of the program. There will be a, a hockey version of this coming out for iPhone, um, but it's not at the time of, of, of filming, it's not quite available yet. So let me just show you kind of how the setup goes and, um, and then we'll show you how it works. So what we're going to do is, um, the first thing we're going to do is open up the, the settings here. You notice we've got some sensitivity settings across the top, we've got low, normal, and high. Um, and then I'm going to actually jump down to units at the bottom. You'll notice you can go kilometers per hour or miles per hour. So just depending on which you prefer, you can select um, which one you like the best. I'm most familiar with miles per hour, so that's the one I'm going to use. Um, and then you can see you've got your distance. Now you can go um, shorter distance. The shorter the distance, the less accurate it's going to be at higher speeds. Further the distance, you can notice like at 24, at 24 feet from the net, um, it's accurate from about 21 miles an hour up to about 63 miles an hour. So for me, that's a decent range for my snapshot. Um, I'm thinking my slap shot would probably be a little bit above that. So I'm just gonna use, for, for the size of my yard, I can't get much further than about 24 feet from the net. Uh, but you can see as you go up higher and higher, you get a bigger and bigger range or a higher range. So at 36 feet, which is the maximum of this will let you do it, um, you're sitting at about 31 to 93 miles an hour. So definitely good enough for most of your average hockey player slap shot if you can get the, the, the longer distance away from the net. So I'm going to go ahead and set mine back to 24. And then, now that that's set, all you do is you're going to place your speed hero about halfway between where you're shooting from and where your target is and then start taking some shots. So let's go ahead and get this set up. I'm going to hit play on the uh, speed hero button there. That gets it started. And you can notice I've got it just set up on a couple pucks here and it's giving me the shoot now logo or the shoot now um, icon. So that just means it's time for me to start taking some shots. So let's go ahead and grab a couple pucks here. and show you the uh, Speed Hero in action here. So here's what it looks like. So there you go. Let's check what it says. Okay, so that was about 48.1 miles an hour. So I'm gonna say it says it's a new record for me. So if I wanna register that record, all I do is tap the screen. Now it's registered that 48.1 as my highest shot so far. So let's do another one. Okay. So I put a little bit more zip on that one, that's giving me a 53.3. So it's a new record again, I'm going to tap the screen to log that, log that uh, personal best, and I'm going to go. So you can see how this works, really, really cool, definitely a good way of tracking your shot, tracking your progress. I'm going to see if I can put a little bit more zip on this one, see if we can do, uh, do a little bit more damage here. Okay, slightly higher again, 53.9. So that's how the Speed Hero works. It's a super cool app. Um, I really like it, it's really cool. Definitely a lot of stuff you can do with it. And I think it's something you're gonna enjoy. So it's relatively inexpensive. I think it's about 12 bucks at the App Store. And um, definitely worth, uh, worth the 12 bucks. You can track your shots over the summer.